hot, but it's not. <laughs> Let's start with here in the shoulder. <laughs> Everyone knows the name of this muscle. Deltoid. Okay, next. What? We didn't finish the. No, I didn't. No, I we said we did. She was super side. efficient, we just okay. said and I was struggling on the other one. Okay, so then we'll just do this. Okay, so we know the name of the shoulder muscle is the deltoids. That, uh, as you try to identify also, uh, be sure you know the action, right? Let's say, identify, and then if I ask you, if this is damaged, what will you not be able to do, right? So you say you cannot abduct, or maybe the question will be rephrased. Um, you're, you, that means if this is damaged, you will always be abducted, something mm -hmm. like that. So just uh, pay attention to the wording. Okay, now, because like, do you have scissors? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think like they're on the tray, aren't they? No, no, oh. just scalpels. Thank you. Somebody here? He is one of our professors. He is Mr. Teason. All the mom anxiety. <laughs> Can you do with the scissors in the front? Was too delicate with him, I'm sorry. He's a little stiff. He is. Yeah, his arms were super stiff. I was like, does he, does, will it ever let up a little bit? <laughs> So this is the deltoids, mm -hmm. and what you're going to do next is you're going to cut this, the, the belly of the deltoids, so that you get to the next, the deep layer. All of the muscles in this part, they will flex. All of the muscles, so that means everything here, they flex, mm -hmm. and then everything here, they extend. Okay, so what's the muscle that we expect here under? Bicep. 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 Do you know why it's called biceps? How many bellies? Two. Two. Let's look for the one with the two bellies. So we're going to cut. This is the sharpest knife ever. <laughs> right. Maybe that was more of a problem. Ridiculously. Yeah, so you should ask old. Robert for a new one. A new scalp update. So when you take this out. Go under. See, see, there's a give right there, right? So that means you're in the second layer of muscles. And now you will be in the biceps. When I send announcement, do you? get the notification that there's an announcement. No, no. I, no. I don't get an actual unless notification. I, yeah, I have to go in and, and yeah. work and But when see. you open up your canvas, you can see that there's an announcement. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. no, no, no. Not on your phone, but in canvas. Just on canvas. That means you I'm still get the announcement <laughs> if you open your canvas, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's your biceps. You see the two bellies? You see this one? One, two, mm -hmm. bye. Okay. You see that there? If I flex this one, you can even see the two bellies right there. One, two, biceps. You see mm. that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. why it's called biceps. So there are, it was under the deltoids. There are actually three muscles that will flex. The biceps flexes the elbow joint or the humeral ulna. There are three muscles that will pull this towards there. In addition to the biceps, you have brachialis, and then there's another one, 
brachioradialis. Which of the two muscles do you think will just be hugging the humerus? Brachialis or brachioradialis? Brachialis, because that's all it's saying, right? So it must be right here. So if you cut this, you can see the biceps. So you look for the one that has the two bellies, and then you cut the biceps. Under that is a thin muscle that's like slapped on the humerus. That's the brachialis. It's like a... I, I'm shocked that it's called the powerhouse and a workhorse for flexion, but it's stuck there and it's like a fanning muscle and it inserts on the ulna so that you can flex. And then the brachial radialis. Where do you think is the origin? Brachial radialis. Brachial is the humerus, right? And then it will insert on the radius. That's why it's called brachial radialis. So then it will pull from the radius, it will pull so that you can flex. And here is your brachial radialis. You see this? You have to take out the fascia so you can see your muscles, okay? Mm -hmm. This fascia, this connective tissue is blocking your view. You can't see any muscle at all. You have to get to the meat. Now you are in the meat part right here. So this muscle here, this one, This must be my brachial radialis. See, it's over there and it will end there. So that's the brachial radialis. And this is your marker. Media to that, this will all be flexors. And then over here will all be extensors, okay? Um, so what do you think you, you will find here on the dorsal aspect? Will we call this pronator or supinator? Mm. Pronator, Pronator, right? And over here will be your supinator. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's backwards. This, it's yes. backwards, okay? So yeah. over here will be the supinator, supinator and over here will be the pronator. So those two muscles, the pronator and supinator, those are the only muscles that are diagonal like that. So look for that under this one. Okay, now that we have identified the brachioradialis, we said everything here will be your extensors and if you look at the list it says there will be the extensor carpi radialis extensor carpi ulnaris and extensor digitorum that means the extensor carpi radialis must be over here the extensor carpi ulnaris must be over here and the extensor digits must be every time you extend you're not only using one muscle but all of those muscles so right here okay what you're going to do, then you're going to separate. And you go, you see the tendons of this, there's several tendons right here. Okay. There's my extensor carpi radialis. Right here, do you see that muscle? Mm -hmm. Over there. And then this, do you see this tendon? This must be my extensor carpi digitorum. There's, it will extend the digits. And then this must be the tendon of the extensor carpi ulnaris over here on this side. my extensor carpi radialis over here this one right here which is under the brachioradialis I'm going to cut the brachioradialis so you can see 
<coughs> okay, there's your extensor carpi radialis, this one. There's the extensor digitorum muscles, this is the tendon of the extensor digitorum. And then this must be the extensor carpi ulnaris because it's on the ulna. So then next, again, this was our marker. Media to, oh, by the way, don't forget to look for the pronator, it's over here. Oh, supinator over here. <laughs> and then over here, you're going to look for the dia. If all of this, look at all of the brachioradialis and the extensors, they're all straight, they go here. The pronator and supinator is the only one that's diagonal. Then over here, this must all be flexors, right? So then I'm going to do the same. But there's one muscle here. Can you try to make a fist? There's some muscle right here in the center. You don't have it. You have it. You don't. Mm -hmm. So if you if you make a fist and there's a tendon that pops out, that's mm -hmm. the tendon of the palmaris longus. That's a shiny muscle. So there are two markers that you're going to use right here. The brachioradialis is the marker right on this side of the brachioradialis will be all be flexors on this side of the brachioradialis will all be extensors and then the other marker will be the palmaris longus that's a shiny muscle right in the center. So this cat has a very thick fascia. It's a big one. Look at all of this fascia, connective tissue. Okay, so I'm gonna take out this fascia. What you say? You say I have it. If you pull my glove down, you can see it. Not it all in. of us have it. But so now I expose this one, and you will see. You have it? You have it. Mm -hmm. You don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an extra muscle for flexing. Um, it's no big deal sure if you if don't. Out, but totally here, there's. this is your marker, this shiny muscle right here. This is the palmar. It's going to the palm. That's why it's called palmaris longus, mm -hmm. right? It goes to the palm. So, me, uh, medial to la uh, lateral to that one <laughs> is the flexor carpi radialis because there's your radius. And then this must be, next to it must be the flexor carpi ulnaris over here. Ouch. This this must be the flexor carpi ulnaris, this one right here, this one. Mm -hmm. This is the palmaris longus, mm -hmm. and then this is my flexor carpi radialis. And then what you're going to do, because you have to have a flexor digits also, like you have an extensor digitorum. Mm -hmm. The flexor digitorum is under the palmaris longus. So if you cut this, cut the palmaris longus, you're going to see that there's many more tendons down there You see the deeper muscles, they're called the flexor digitorum muscles down there. Okay, so this is my palmaris longus and there's my brachioradialis, right? So then that means this one right here must be my flexor carpi radialis. Then this is my flexor carpi ulnaris. And then under the palmaris is my flexor digitorum. If you look closely, you can see your pronator. Look at that. There's the pronator. It it starts there and it ends. It's a diagonal muscle, very small. You see that? Because all the rest go straight up and down. This one, you can see. 
it's there it starts there but then it ends there do you see that that's why that's your pronator mm -hmm. so look for the same there and that's it for the flexors for the upper right oh not yet sorry you have the triceps it's right here you know the i'm not going to cut the triceps because you i'll just leave it up to you too because you know where the triceps is right so mm -hmm. here and why is it called try how many bellies will it have three three, three. so just like this one has two the bind which is very pretty then you're also going to have three for the triceps okay i never ask the students to identify which belly it is but there's your triceps there will be three bellies there's the long head there's the lateral head and then if you cut the long head under will be the medial head there's three of them so that's it next we're going to now look at the muscles that move your shoulder but they're associated with the scapula can you do, do you mind bringing the skull i mean the skeleton that thing so now let's look at the scapula and please use the website that i was able to find i think that will be helpful so Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. So now what I'm going to do because just just butcher one side, okay? So there's my scapula. Now we're going to look at do you see that there's still muscles in the scapula that we didn't study yet, mm -hmm. right? We just looked at the rhomboids. So now I'm going to cut the rhomboids and the trapezius. Okay? Cut. I'm cutting the trapezius right, to expose the scapula and I'll cut the rhomboids okay I'll cut the rhomboids and now Now here's the scapula, right? I have exposed the scapula. Mm -hmm. The rhomboids and the serratus, they move the scapula. But these muscles that are in the scapula, that fill the scapula, they will move your humerus. They form the rotator cuff. Okay, so if you look at the scapula, there's a surface right here, right? There's all of this surface is covered by muscle. All of the muscles that cover the scapula itself move this joint. All of the muscles that attach to the scapula, they move the scapula. Okay? So, can you see that there's a spine, right? That's called a spine, like this is your spine. So, that's also the spine of the scapula. Can you feel the spine? Feel the spine. <laughs> right there. Can you feel the spine? Yeah. Sorry feel the spine right there. oh okay yeah okay so that's what you're feeling right here oh, yeah. okay so this one then is a fossa this is called supraspinous fossa it's above the spine this is called infraspinous because it's below the spine so then this muscle above the spine is called the supraspinatus the muscle below is called infraspinatus and then the muscle inside all of this is called subscapularis. And they will all go here to move the shoulder joint, the humerus. So, sorry to butcher this one, but you have another one. The shoulder, they form a cuff, you know, like the cuff of your socks. Yeah. You won't see tendon, but you have a cuff. That's why you have so many movements. This is the most movable of all joints, right? But that's your weakest joint also because it's most movable. I always ask the students, dislocate the shoulder. They dislocate in two seconds, no problem. Just because it's a cuff, that's all. You can just pull it out. 
and but what are the muscles that form that cuff to support the shoulder joint supraspinatus infraspinatus now you know why it's called it's supra right because it's above and then there's your infraspinatus and then the one inside is called subscapularis with all of this and then if you look at this one you can feel feel this chico there's muscles dangling it's not oh, on yeah. the scapula itself. That's your teres muscle. Mm -hmm. So you have the teres major and teres minor, right? The teres minor, right here, you can see it. This is the teres major. Because it's big, there's a teres minor. The teres minor contributes to the rotator cuff. They're going to go there together to help with the rotation. The teres major is big. It also helps with the shoulder movement but mainly with adduction so the others the supraspinatus infraspinatus subscapularis and teres minor goes to the to form the rotator cuff <coughs> this one the teres major also goes to the humerus to pull it to adduct and those are the muscles of the scapula see very easy you start with the you have the triceps here then you have the muscles here supraspinatus infraspinatus right subscapularis, teres major, teres minor. And then for this one, you have biceps in here, right? Biceps, and then you have the brachialis. You should have to cut that, and it's in there. Then here, what's the muscle? Brachioradialis. That's your marker. On this side of the brachioradialis will all be flexors, and on this side will all be Extenders. extensors. And then for the extensors, look for three tendons. The one that's in the radius is the extensor carpi radialis. The one that's here is the extensor carpi ulnaris. And the one in the middle will be your extensor digitorum. <laughs> and then over here, right, first look for the palmaris longus. Not all of us has that, but cats have that. In the, that's the shiny muscle. And then on this side of the palmaris longus it is your flexor carpi radialis. Then flexor carpi all nice on this side. Then cut the palmaris longus. Under the palmaris longus, you should find the flexor digitor muscles. And then lastly, locate the diagonal muscle. Right? Over here, that's your pronator. And then over here, locate for the other diagonal muscle, that's your supinator. And that's it for this one. And then now we go down here. See, it looks like it's a lot, but it's really not that much. So now you go down here. Yeah, we hadn't got there yet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, but that's that. Okay. So what's the butt muscle? Gluteus. The gluteus, right? So if I point to a muscle here, you know I'm pointing to the gluteus, which is in, in cats, it's different. The gluteus maximus is smaller than the gluteus medius. For us, the gluteus maximus is bigger. But here it is. He has some there. thick stuff. <laughs> there. There's the gluteus maximus. <clears throat> You would think it's down here, right? Mm -hmm. But no, it's not. Well, you're saying that there's a smaller cat. So yeah. There's the gluteus maximus and there's the gluteus medius. Okay. And then, right here, who runs? You ever had like a, the, the, the IT band, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is this thick fascia here. That's your IT band. Or fascia lata or IT band. And the muscle that tenses that is called the tensor fascia lata, which is this one. So runners, it's always alternate flex extend, flex extend. And that, because this is tough, you see how it's tough connective yeah. tissue? That can cause this to be so tense and just get inflamed. And they ask you to run rolling pin right here, right? Yeah. To help with the inflammation. But this tiny muscle right here, that's the one that tenses the tensor fascia lata. That's why it's called tensor fascia lata. It's attached, you see? 
there's that muscle that's attached to this fascia lata. Next, you have here in the thigh, you're almost done. Over here. Oopsie. Sorry. <laughs> we'll get it cleaned up, don't worry. <laughs> there are two muscles here, okay? Oh, sorry. Right here. Go separate. Okay. So there's two muscles here. Over here, this muscle here that goes to the groin. This is your gracilis. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. this one. This muscle Sorry. right here is the sartorius. Sorry. Sorry. So <laughs> if you yeah. cut the sartorius, the one I know. <laughs> you cut the sartorius, then you're going to see your quads. Mm -hmm. If you cut the gracilis, then you're going to see your hamstrings. So cut the sartorius so we can see our quads. Okay, now you see your quads right here. It's under the sartorius, okay? And um, the quads will have how many muscles? Four. Four. So the marker will be the rectus femoris. What will you be looking for? Why will it be called rectus? The fibers are running er erect, erect, right? Straight up and down. So if you look at this one right here, you will see that the fibers are going straight up and down. Rectus femoris. Okay. And then, so there's your rectus femoris. Then you have two muscles that form a V, vastus. Over here, which one do you think will be vastus lateralis? On the outside. This one right here, right? Mm -hmm. Vastus lateralis. And then over here, this muscle right here is the vastus medialis. And then if you cut the rectus femoris, cut the belly, under that is the vastus intermedius. Mm -hmm. So the four of them insert right here through the quads tendon. They insert on the tibia. And then here, this is your hamstring, right? Mm -hmm. What's the... If this is called biceps brachii, this will be called biceps femoris. Look at the two bellies of the biceps. Right? That's why it's called bi. Do you see the two bellies right mm -hmm. there? What's that? <laughs> a tumor? tumor? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Or a lymph node. Maybe a big lymph node. But there's your biceps femoris. Okay, do you see it? And then here. So now I'm going to cut the gracilis. I cut the gracilis under the gracilis you have the two other muscles of the hamstring one is called semi membranosus which is this one right here because it looks like a flat membrane semi membranosus and then this one right here is the semi tendinosus because it looks like it's going to be a tendon few semi tendinosus hmm. so temi semi tendinosus semi membranosus and biceps femoris form your hamstring. And then your quads is your rectus femoris, right? Mm -hmm. And then the V, the vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and vastus intermedius under. And that's covered by my sartorius. The hamstring was covered by my gracilis. And then on this side, you will see finally Watch the very the small yes. triangular muscle right here, this one. So this was my semi-tendinosus, this is my semi-membranosus, and then there's this tiny muscle right there. That's my adductors, mm -hmm. adductor mm -hmm. femoris. It will adduct the femur. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what do you call this bone? Tibia. 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 So this muscle is called tibia. Tibias. Yes. Okay, and then this one, we're familiar with this tendon. What do we call this tendon? The Achilles, the Achilles. The Achilles tendon. What do we call this ballerina muscle? 
the gastrocnemius, right? Oh, yeah. The gastrocnemius or the cat and muscle. The solaris now, the soleus. So, layers. this ach Achilles tendon, there are two muscles that insert to the um, calcaneus through the Achilles tendon. The big one is the gastrocnemius muscle, and then under, so there's two of them, see? This manhandler guy. I know, sorry, baby. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution, Tom. <laughs> there, see? See these two muscles? One, this big one is the gastrocnemius, and then there's a thinner one inside. That's the soleus muscle, and you see both of them inserting on that tendon to go there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, this is gastrocnemius and soleus. This is tibialis, and then finally you have a one last muscle in the back, right there. This one, that's your peroneus muscle or fibularis muscle. Mm. And that's it. Don't worry about the extensors and flexors because we already practiced that one there. Lastly, I want you to look for a nerve, right? You can look for the sciatic nerve or the femoral nerve. So just so you know how it looks like. It looks like a yarn, a piece of yarn. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll leave it up it. to you to find the nerve. Okay. But it looks like it's a lot. Oh, what did you forget? No, we didn't forget anything. We got everything. Yep. Okay. See? It's very easy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.